Hello everyone, so I thought I would talk a little bit about apple cider vinegar. Um, basically it was recommended to me um, in a comment, like um, take some apple cider vinegar pills and um, basically it would help me with my skin. Um, I used to take apple cider vinegar shots like a really long time ago and um, I loved what they did for like my stomach. Like guys, if you're having issues with like bloating or you're trying to get like a flat stomach, Seriously, a few weeks of just like taking like one apple cider vinegar shot. Usually you take it in the morning before your breakfast, um, before you eat. Like, serious. It worked so well. I would like sometimes take like an extra shot like throughout the day. Like it's, it works that well. Um, and so like I know a lot of people use it for like weight loss and things like that or like burning belly fat. Um, but I didn't understand really what it could do for skin, but I know that it helps with detox and so um, right now I'm trying to get my body ready to go back on glutathione. I've been off it for about a month and a half and so you guys know when you start glutathione again, especially if you're going to do um, mega dosing of glutathione, sometimes your body will go through like a detox and so you can prep your body to be able to basically, um, I guess, absorb your glutathione better prior to getting back on it or prior to even starting it. So I'm kind of doing that right now. And so anyways, it was just great to get that recommendation because like it reminded me that apple cider vinegar is like pretty amazing, but um, I didn't really understand what it does for skin health. And so we're gonna go into that today because like I learned something and I was like, oh my gosh, it just keeps on getting better and better and better. So right now I have my liquid chlorophyll, which um, if you guys are part of the Patreon family, you see my vlogs. This is like a part of like my daily routine taking my um, chlorophyll and then I added a shot, like literally like a little shot glass. I just poured in of the apple cider vinegar. Um, I always buy the one like with the mother, which the mother is basically like, it looks like cloudiness in it, almost like there's floaties, but like that's the healthiest form of apple cider vinegar. So if you're gonna get one, definitely get that. <laughs> um, so yeah, I just put it in here and um, I'm just sipping on it. Um, it's pretty easy to get down. Now I used to just do the shot by itself and then chase it with water. Don't do that. That is a really, really good way to mess up like the lining of your esophagus, like seriously. Um, and when you're doing that every day, especially if you do it like more than once a day, basically you'll like open yourself up to like infections, like that's vinegar. Um, if it's undiluted, you can definitely hurt your throat and then you'll be, um, just like the type of infections, like where, uh, I don't want to say, uh, like strep throat. Cause I think that's like more of a virus, but seriously, like you can make yourself sick. I've done it before. <laughs> Um, you just open yourself up to like um, getting some type of infection or like a bacterial thing and um, it's just not good. So definitely dilute it, be safe about it. If you're gonna use it every single day, if you're only using it like once in a while, then of course just taking a shot of it probably won't hurt taking a shot of it straight, but that's just my little uh, public service announcement of uh, you really have to be careful with uh, apple cider vinegar and just, you know, dilute it in a full uh, eight ounce glass of water. So my water was up to here, but I've been sipping on it. And so this is the, I, I feel like the safest way to get it down. And plus you get more water in your day, which we should all have more water. But basically, I'm learning that apple cider vinegar basically balances your hormones. And so um, I recently had a really bad flare up from drinking coffee. Um, it's one of my hormonal acne triggers. And so, yeah, I'm still trying to heal those issues. And then on top of that, like, you know, I had pizza. And so I had like cut out cheese completely from my diet. But um, I broke down. I had like two slices of pizza. And then like the next day, pimples just like popped up on my chin. And so to me, it's just like, okay, so am I never supposed to have those things again? Like, am I never supposed to have like a cup of coffee if like I'm really tired and jet lagged? Am I never supposed to eat? Well, I had two pieces of pizza. So maybe if I just had one, I could have got away with it. But it's just like, there has to be a way around this. And so this is what I'm trying to basically hack through. Like, how do we get around our food triggers, especially if you have issues with, like, with your hormones? So with apple cider vinegar. Of course, I start taking it after I already had this flare up happen. Um, so it'll be interesting to see if it'll help me in the future once I clear up my acne and then I go back to my triggers just to see which I can still keep in my diet because I think it's it's unrealistic to say I'm never going to eat cheese again. Like that's just not going to happen. So apple cider vinegar basically helps your body convert proteins found in food into amino acids. Um, I did not know that, uh, but basically it helps with the creation of your hormones. So like drinking a shot of it, basically it um, helps any imbalances. So if you're estrogen dominant or maybe you're just not getting enough progesterone um, and also testosterone. I know testosterone goes up in us or and actually it like it drops like 
we have like small amounts of testosterone but it like drops around the time of our period um but also the estrogen goes up and so you could say either it's the estrogen going up that makes us break out like around that time of the month or it's the drop in the testosterone but basically things have to be balanced so you can't just say i want more of this hormone and then you have to understand like you have to also keep the other two balanced as well so um i had no idea that apple cider vinegar basically is one of those players that would help to balance your hormones at all um so for me this is pretty big um second apple cider vinegar balances your blood sugar preventing blood sugar sores and crashes um so that's when you have like your insulin spikes so when you're eating things like that have high carbs or you're eating things with sugar which everything especially in the american diet everything even our bread has sugar and so it's like a double whammy for people who have um, hormonal imbalance they never really get balanced like Stephen, you could say oh i'm gonna cut out all sweets and then basically be eating something that you had no idea has added sugar to it so i mean it's just it's like a losing game <laughs> Um, so that's why I started taking magnesium because like I knew it would help with like those insulin spikes um, But also I then figured out that magnesium also helps with um, getting up your glutathione levels So now I'm just like, oh, yeah, I will always 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 take magnesium um, But yeah back to this uh, it says that this is important for women with insulin resistant PCOS um, so if you're eating high carb meals, um, definitely maybe take some apple cider vinegar before you eat. Also it says that apple cider vinegar contains acetic acid which helps your body to draw nutrients out of the foods you eat. Um, so this, that's the same acid that can help block the absorption of starchy bad carbs too. So that's just going back to carbs and the insulin spikes and I guess just explaining more of that process. And then it says that apple cider vinegar balances acid and alkaline levels in the body, allowing good bacteria to flourish in your microbiome. Your microbiome houses the estrobolum, which that's where excess estrogen is processed and eliminated from your body. So if you have the feeling that you're estrogen dominant, which I'm pretty sure that I am, um, there, there are some symptoms of that that you could look up online. And um, yeah, if you're like matching like three or four of them, then you're pretty much estrogen dominant. Um, but I had no idea. Like I knew that with like getting our, our levels like alkaline, like in our body, I knew it did that. So it's kind of like those people who will drink like hot water with like lemon in it in the mornings. It's kind of helping to regulate your your alkalinity but also um you guys probably already know this i know there's been so many youtube videos on this but um vaginal odor and uh apple cider vinegar like people who take the pills like it helps like with controlling odors down there whether it's like that time of month or maybe you just had like i don't know some type of yeast infection or whatnot but or maybe you just like work out a lot and you sweat a lot down there and you just feel like you need extra protection but um apple cider vinegar basically helps with neutralizing those odors um I know people who like you know will drink it or take the pills i've never taken the pills i just i don't know i've always drink it but if you can't deal with the flavor you always have the option of drinking with some water or adding it into something else um but i did see i think one video of a girl who would do apple cider vinegar soaks for her womb health and so basically she would put some in a bathtub um i can't remember how much it was like a quarter of a cup or like half a cup um but she would put some in the bathtub and then she would you know sit in it and yeah that would help <laughs> soak her boom boom so um there you go uh you have that as well um so she talks about how she uses apple cider vinegar um but she also said something interesting that i hadn't thought about and that's taking a little bit before each meal so if you don't want to do like a full shot maybe take just like a teaspoon before like you know three times a day before each meal so maybe take like um, a teaspoon prior to each meal throughout the day or i don't know like i would measure out like your shot of it or maybe just start off with like two tablespoons worth um but just do that and um just in small parts during the day and it'll help you um you guys probably also know that uh, it helps uh, i think i already said this like with like weight loss it basically like stimulates your um metabolism so it'll help you like burn fat when you're taking apple cider vinegar and the most important thing is to take it in the beginning of the day before you're eating and stuff like that um and uh yeah it'll help you with your bloating um when it comes to glutathione though it helps basically clean you out and so it uh, it all starts with gut health if you guys haven't noticed all of the foods that we could eat that naturally boost all of our glutathione they are all basically things that are like high in sulfur so the gassy vegetables like cauliflower cabbage broccoli asparagus um, onions um, things like that that's all what like raises our glutathione i'm not saying eat a ton of that all the time 
yeah. but adding it to your diet you could see where it would definitely benefit you and um it's so funny but they also clean you out and so there's just there's definitely some connection between cleaning yourself out you know going number two <laughs> um and then also having higher levels of glutathione and so um it should be no surprise that apple cider vinegar which also helps with your gut health and helps you with um digestion and being able to go to the bathroom regularly that that also helps you with your glutathione stores so all in all i had to make a video on it because i i've known some of these things over the years but i'm also learning more about it that's just like holy crap why did i stop taking this but i know why i stopped taking it because i was taking it like undiluted as a shot instead of taking that shot and then putting it in like an eight ounce glass of water so I highly recommend you mix it with something. Um, don't be dumb like I did, or um, you know you could actually hurt your throat. Um, but yeah, apple cider vinegar.